Hi, I'm Dr. Natalie Weldon, and I'm Program Lead for the MSc in Ecology and Environmental Monitoring. The MSc in Ecology and Environmental Monitoring will help you to learn how our environment works, how the different compartments of the environment interact with one another, so our soils, our watercourses, and the atmosphere, what's living in these different places, and how we measure and monitor them. In the classroom, we'll be covering ecological theory, policy, regulation and management and then out in the environment we'll be looking at where communities are, what their structure is, how they form and what the impact of these various theoretical changes can be. We'll also bring some of that back into the lab so that we can look at these species a little bit more closely and build up your own identification skills. Obviously, we're undergoing a period of global environmental change that not only affects plants and animals, but also human communities too. As part of this course, we will cover all of the skills that help us monitor those changes, as well as the policy steps that we're making to help reverse or halt those potentially damaging activities. This programme sits really nicely within the wider School of Social and Environmental Sustainability in meeting UN goals for sustainable development. Goals that will help us as a global community ensure that we can maintain our planetary health, community health and sustainable growth over time. The programme itself meets these goals, particularly focusing on targets around life in water, life on land and climate change as well. As part of this program, we are going to get you out into the field. You'll get practice in relation to future careers by working closely with various local organizations, generating, handling and interpreting data that will be the same kind of things that you're looking at, whether you are generating environmental data in the future, whether as part of a charity organization or in land management, or maybe handling that data in relation to regulators, policymakers, or wider land management. This program was set up to address an identified skills gap in ecology and environmental monitoring, particularly around things like the identification and taxonomy of key species groups. Using these skills, you'll be able to develop your career in things like museum curation or potentially environmental consultancy, conducting things like habitat surveys or site surveys, working in land management or local conservation with conservation charities, for example, or working alongside regulators and policymakers as you develop your future career. This is the type of programme that I wanted as soon as I came out of my undergraduate degree. I had a good background in the theory. I'd had one or two goes at some of the techniques, but I hadn't had the opportunity to repeat some of these in such a way that I felt that once I got out there into the field, I'd be able to be left alone to put them into practice. One of the reasons why we put this programme together is that we're hoping to instill confidence and competence in our students as they move forward into their future careers. Music